All right, guys, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos featuring 1911s and whatnot, I may have talked about this before. Um, this is my full-size Ruger uh, Government 1911. And my plans for this are to go ahead and make this a 460 roll-in conversion, uh, as well as uh, <clears throat> the, the main purpose is really gonna be for a sidearm for hunting uh, and stuff like that. So, you know, obviously I don't have the conversion kit for it yet, but I'm kind of doing some things to it here and there. Um, and one thing that I found at my local gun store is this. Uh, now, obviously 460 roll will have a little bit more recoil, but I'm sure everybody's heard of Hogue. Um, yeah, so this is just a, <laughs> a mono grip which I've had quite a bit of experience with a mono grip. They tend to be very comfortable in the hand, very ergonomic. Um, their kind of claim to fame is offering a little bit of uh, recoil absorption. I'm not really sure how that would pertain uh, in the 1911 per se, because I mean, all you're really getting is some finger grips, uh, which give you a little bit more control and a little bit more comfort on the front strap. Uh, but the back is, left alone so I mean in terms of recoil I don't know how much actual recoil absorption it does have um, but yeah uh, but yeah I picked this up for 15 bucks so I thought it was a pretty good deal uh, it says right here that it's made for Colt government commander gold cup and duplicate frames so um, like I said with my plans being this being a 460 rolling conversion eventually uh, I think that this would be nice Mainly in the, in the terms of I'll probably be carrying it in the hunting season, which in Michigan tends to get cold. Uh, this would keep my hands a little warmer and make it a little easier to grip onto with the finger grips and generally the rubber texture. Um, so a couple other little notes about this are uh, they're, you know, standard thickness, nothing really special there. Um, they have a pretty nice uh, general shape to them, really. Uh, as I said, you get the finger grips here for your front strap. Now the general construction here, if you kind of open it up, you can see there's some polymer, so it's pretty rigid. Uh, so this is polymer here, and you have this lattice kind of running up the side going around the screw holes. Um, and it is cut for a ambi safety. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I will pop these off and get this new grip back on and uh, give some comments on that. So I will be right back. Okay, uh, as you can see, I got them installed here on my 1911. Uh, if you haven't done it before, obviously it's just two simple screws on each side that you pop out. Uh, one thing to note is that the Hogue grip does not come with new screws, so you're going to want to make sure that you save and don't lose uh, your screws that came with your firearm. Now, I'm going to be for sure keeping these, and it kind of pains me to take these off uh, because these are really beautiful rosewood grips and uh, I think very well done by Ruger. So this will go in my parts bin in case I wanna switch it out uh, or if for some reason I don't end up liking these in the future, but um, yeah, so a couple little things here on it, uh, with it on the gun. Uh, one thing to note is you do have a nice scallop here for uh, getting your thumb to the safety. So it just kind of naturally falls there. Um, so very nice, uh, but uh, the, the finger grooves are really nice as well. Uh, they kind of naturally, I got pretty decent sized hands. So uh, my fingers naturally just fall right there and it's super comfortable and ergonomic. Um, and this little ridge here is actually pretty smooth, uh, so it's not intrusive in any way. Um, yeah, so I think they look pretty nice on there. You do get a lot more extra grip, and that was going to be one of my main concerns, uh, is with switching this to 460 rolling in the future, having these, especially in the winter with gloves and stuff, I think you're going to be a little on the slick side, uh, which is I'm going to be having these. So 
you know, and with gloves, it's it's going to just really hold right on. Um, I believe so anyways. Uh, but yeah, no, I really, I like the looks actually. Uh, I wasn't sure on how that would work out, especially on this Ruger where you got the blacked out sights and, uh, you know, safety, uh, slide lock and uh, mag release and grip safety and all that. It just all kind of blends together. So uh, the black on black looks really nice. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever used these before? Um, like I said, I have quite a bit of experience with the mono grips in other lines. Uh, I've had them on Rugers, which they tend to come on anyways. Uh, I put this on, or I put a mono grip on my Taurus Tracker 44, and it worked really well, felt really nice, and actually changed for the better uh, over this <laughs> the stock grip that the Taurus came with. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not really, um, I guess, classical uh, to the 1911 uh, design, but, um, you know, that's what's cool about it is that I can kind of forge this gun into the way I want it to be, and I have lots of parts to choose from to do that, so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so, you know, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm sure some of you are thinking I'm pretty dumb, uh, getting rid of the nice ones here, but, uh, Hey, for $15, I mean, these were, I think, a pretty decent buy. So, um, and, they, and they really do have a nice texturing on them, and they are very rubberized, uh, not sticky or anything like that. So that's also a plus. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.